What's up, people? RG, aka the leader, aka the merrymaker, aka your poet in residence inside your screen right now. Today, I'm excited because we're talking about characters. Characters, by that I mean people in your communities. People in your communities that make up this big city or town that you live in. Now, you're going to have to think of a character to base your poem on. It could be, for example, a butcher, a butcher who works with me all day. It could be, for example, a singer, a pop singer who's trying to train to go on uh, X Factor or something like that. For my example, I'm going to use the example of a boxer. I've always wanted to be a boxer and a good boxer is built with so much great characteristics. It's something that I will have fun writing. So right now I'm going to create a brainstorm or a spider diagram to come up with loads of ideas and I want you to do the same. I'm going to write boxer in the middle. Now you might notice my handwriting's not all that but luckily I'm not going to be rated on my handwriting and I'm only going to be rated on my poetry or my songwriting. I've written boxer so you guys at home you can write in the middle of your page what your poem is going to be about. Okay, when I think about a boxer, I think about all of what he looks like. So let's think about that first. All of the features of a boxer. I might say, okay, he's got fists. Fists as big as boulders, I might say. Fists as big as boulders. And then I might look at here, a boxer's shorts, and I might say, his shorts glimmered in the sun like emeralds. So I might say that. His shorts glimmered like emeralds. Then I might think about his eyes. I might say his eyes were filled with fire. Yeah, and I might write that here. His eyes were filled with fire. Now I want you guys to think about some appearance for your characters. Think about what they look like. Think about what they're wearing. You could even think about how they walk. Like a boxer doesn't walk on his tiptoes like a ballerina. A boxer walks heavy like a pound of bricks dropped one after the other. A boxer talks heavy too. That's what we're going to talk about next. How the boxer talks. I want you to think of one thing he might say. The boxer might say, I'll knock him out. Something like that. But a butcher might say, I've got 10 pounds of chicken here. And he might say that. Or a teacher might say, learn this or else. He might say that. Let's go with the boxers. I'll knock him out. So I'll write that on my piece of paper. Write down your idea now. Next up, we're going to think about what he does all day. What does he do when he wakes up? What does he do when he goes just before he goes to sleep? Think about that for your character. What does he do in the day? Mine would be, he wakes up, drinks a smoothie of egg yolk. I say, drinking a smoothie of egg yolk. He trains all day. These are the things that he does all day. Finally, let me have a look at this. We're going to think about the thing that he knows that nobody else knows. So for example, a teacher might know how to reach a kid better than anybody else. A butcher might know the prime cuts of beef better than anyone else. What does your character know better than anyone else? My guy, the boxer, knows how to knock you out with one punch. So I'll say, he knows to knock you out with one punch. <laughs> I've got loads of ideas on this piece of paper. And one of the most important things is having good ideas. Finally, our last idea we're going to write is, what do people say to him? What do people say to the butcher? Maybe they say, I'm having a Christmas dinner, I want the perfect cut. What do you say to a boxer? They say, I got 10 pound on you. I'll write that. 
I got 10 pound on you. As you can see, we've got all of our ideas here and hopefully you've stopped and started this video to create all of your ideas. Ideas are the most important thing when you're creating any song lyrics or any poetry of any kind. But the other thing to take into account when you're creating new things is to make sure you listen to other people's ideas. And this is a poem by a guy named Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edwards is a good friend of mine, but he's also a Welsh poet. And he wrote a piece about a postman. And it goes like this. The man who knows exactly where you live plunges his hand in the lucky dip he carries on his shoulders. Conjures up your day, the papers, packages, the words to make you sing this morning or to stop your heart sign here. He grins with something from the court or offers you a bill and whistles badly. Early hours, he puts the creak of your garden gate into a horror movie, leaves his footprints all over your drive with his clean conscience and his paid for stride. His day starts any time before the day does. He goes to bed as early as a child and sleeps so well, as well as you would like, to face a day of carrying that sack, the weight of all those futures, on your back. So that was the ideas of Jonathan Edwards. What were your favourite lines in that? My favourite line was, early hours he puts the creak of your gate into a horror movie. Because it's got sound. When you push a gate open it goes, and it opens up. And I love that because he's putting sound into his poem. So now it's your turn. We've come up with some ideas. We've been inspired by someone else's work. You've written down loads of your ideas on your spider diagram. And now I want to hear about how you stick all those ideas together. You can use some of the ideas of Jonathan Edwards or you can just make it up as you like. I'm going to make one up using this badly handwritten spider diagram. I'll start off by saying, each day he wakes up drinking a smoothie of egg yolk. He's the type of guy who'll knock you out. People shout, I got 10 pound on him, and his eyes light up like fire. He trains all day with shorts glimmering like emeralds, his fists as big as boulders, and when the bell goes, you know he'll knock you out with one punch. And that's my character poem about a boxer. I want to hear what your character poems are and I want to make sure that no matter what you do, you have fun and enjoy words because that's what they're there for. Bye.